Greetings, and welcome to a tutorial on the easiest way to get custom enchantments on any item. And this is just in my opinion, uh, but I think this is the easiest way. It requires a mod called Single Player Commands, which I will have a link in the description to where you can download it. Um, but it's very simple once you have it. And uh, basically, Single Player Commands adds a bunch of uh, different... Um, commands that you can use in single player and one of them is the slash enchant command and so start by just typing in slash enchant and list and that'll bring up all the different enchants and just scroll over which item you want to enchant let's say we're going to enchant this sword type slash enchant add and then see how there's numbers besides the word so let's say you want to put protection you type in zero but it's a sword so we're going to put looting on it so 21 and the next number that you type in can be any level that you want. So I'm going to put looting level uh, 34 on it. Um, the only thing is, if it goes above level 10, it'll have enchantment.level.34 or whatever you have. Um, but if you have 10 or lower, it'll have the regular Roman uh, numerical, um, you know, like 10 is X, 5 is V, and 1 is I. And yes, yeah, so now I have looting level 34 on my diamond sword. So let me just prove to you that this works. I'll get out a mushroom. And we should get a bunch of whatever mushrooms drop. And we did. We got 31 <laughs> and 32. That is ridiculously incredible. So yeah, that's how that works. And you can even put any enchantment you want. So I could even put uh, protection on my sword, which is uh, not going to do anything. But, you know, you can still have it. And slash enchant add. I can put efficiency as well. Level 10. That's efficiency X. And yeah, so for armor, slash enchant works the exact same way protection I can have protection which is zero and I can have protection level 80 um, and there you have it and as I said you can put this on anything so here I have a redstone lamp with knockback X just for fun it's actually kinda of fun like knocking things back just like this boom <laughs> it's kinda of fun to uh, like I said just knock them back yep and I could put it on an even higher level and they would go flying across the map ridiculously far. Here I have TNT with blast protection and I'm pretty sure this isn't going to do anything having like blast protection. You have to put it on armor and you actually have to wear the armor. Uh, but I thought it would be kind of funny to put blast protection on TNT because it's TNT. And uh, here is a fire wand. It's actually just a blaze rod but has fire aspect 5 on. Um, so I renamed the blaze rod using this anvil to fire wand, and yeah. And this does light them on fire, as you can see. So I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, the higher the level of fire aspect, uh, it increases the amount of time that uh, things are on fire for. So as you saw, that cow burned to death. If you had fire aspect level 1 or 2, uh, the fire would go out before it actually died. So... Yeah, that can be pretty useful to put a pretty high level fire aspect on. And yeah, you can you can add as many things as you want. You can add all the enchantments uh, if you really want. And you can even do stuff like, uh, let me show you. You can even put like silk touch. Add silk touch is 33. I'll put level 1. Obviously, a higher level is not going to do anything. So I'm going to add and fortune is 35. And I'll do 10. And yeah, you can even have silk touch and fortune on it. I'm not sure if that'll do anything. Let me check now. Coal ore. Let's see. Yeah, so... Uh, the the silk touch is on top, so that is what is going to um, dominate its decision whether it should apply fortune or apply a silk touch. So, yeah, since silk touch was on top, it gave me the silk touch. 
And if you want to remove enchants, you can go slash enchant remove, and that will remove all of the enchants off the item. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, the reason I have this anvil here is to demonstrate that you can do stuff like renaming a blaze rod to fire wand and putting fire aspect 5. I think that's pretty cool that you can do stuff like that for custom maps and whatnot. And yeah, that is just about it. So thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And thanks for watching.